Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, it's nighttime, obviously. It's three, almost uh, two o'clock in the morning, uh, and I'm here at this park uh, because I'm following up on a story that I was told lots and lots of times, uh, especially years ago, and it just recently was told to me again. So um, because of that, I thought I'd come here and do a little investigation. Now, apparently. Apparently the story goes, uh, there was a girl and a guy, uh, they got married and on their wedding night on when they got married, um, what happened was they went to go on their honeymoon and unfortunately on the way out of town, uh, they were going to Winnipeg. Now. This is a really strange story, so I looked up best I could, and this part of it I know is a fact. Um, but anyway, they went to go on their honeymoon after the wedding party, like the, the day of the wedding, they had the wedding party night or whatever. They left a little bit early to head out because they were going to Winnipeg. Um, anyway, along the way, they're driving down, driving down the highway, and the car caught on fire. So... They, the guy tried to pull over, but kind of went in the ditch at the same time. And the front of the car got buckled and they both got locked inside the car. And the car caught on fire and they both uh, were burned to death. They both died in the car um, on their wedding night. Anyway, it's, a, it's an actual story. I did find the, the clipping of it. Um, I'm not going to... We won't say the names just for, you know, family comfort or whatever, but it that, that did happen. A couple did get married on their wedding night, heading to Winnipeg, got on a little car dinger, you know, but the car caught on fire. There was smoke coming up the windshield. So when the guy went to pull over, he couldn't tell where the side of the road was. So he went over the edge, uh, banged up the front end. The doors got jammed. Neither one of them could get out, and they both died. Um, anyway, so the story goes... She comes back to this park uh, every once in a while between 2 and 3 a.m. Um, looking for her husband or, you know, cause, anyway, she keeps coming because this is where they met. This is where their uh, love thing began. Okay, or they might have known each other and came here for a picnic or whatever, but this is where it all began for them as a couple. So people have said when they've been around the area, they keep seeing this white luminous woman comes walking up the up the way by the side of the trees and then just vanishes, right? So I thought, well, what the hell? I made a promise I'd check out my new uh, equipment I made. Um, so we'll kill two birds with one stone. Uh, my curiosity of if I can catch this woman in white and the other uh, thing of testing my equipment. So I'll be right back, and we'll see you real soon. Hey everybody, how's it going? Okay, so we're way back here now. On the trail. Now with the light off of the raptor box, you can't see squat. It's pitch black. Hang on. So that's what you can see. <laughs> uh... I wanted to have a little bit of light, but I don't know if you guys can see anything or not. Pretty hard to see anything in this. Are you here? There we go. And I put on the laser lights. 
Oh, if anything comes through the ice, we'll see it. Can, can you make the lights uh, change? Walk through, perhaps? Holy crap. Okay, look at that. There's a form. There's a form right on the one side. Just walk. Do you see it moving? Look at that. And there's nothing there. There's, like, nothing physical there. Look at that. Just blacked everything out. Okay, could you step back to the side, please? Thank you. And could you step back in again? Holy crap. I, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I can see it playing because I'm, I'm looking at the lights, right? So I'm hoping it's picking it up. Okay, could you, could you please step back to the side again? There you go. He said, there you go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so this thing works pretty good. I do have to get a better uh, black light. But otherwise, yeah, it, it turned out pretty good. Okay, guys. All right, spirits, let's go back to the truck. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty dark, guys. I don't know if you can see me with this little light or not. Uh, but anyway, yeah, definitely, definitely something back there. I don't know if you saw me or not. <laughs> but, uh, for sure. Who the hell are you? Who are you? You're not allowed to follow me. You startled me. I wasn't expecting you to show up. <laughs> you gave me a bloody heart attack sneaking up on me like that. Can you blank the lights? Thank you. Okay, you can put them back on now. Quit playing with them. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was, uh, you gave me a good start all there, chum. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Holy macaroni. <laughs> made me jump out of my skin there. Uh, all I could hear was the footfalls behind you. And I wasn't expecting them. There's the truck. See, there's the black light that doesn't show like you can't really see the light except on the camera. Um, for myself to see with it, there's nothing. Look, if I put my hand way down here, you can see it. So that's about it. <laughs> um, yeah. So that was pretty cool. Um, I'm going to come back here. Uh, I'm going to tweak this uh, stuff a little bit more. But uh, we will definitely come back. We'll just do a little EVP while we're here. A little spirit box or whatever. I'll get inside here first. Perfect, yeah. It was perfect, was it? You like the contraption? It's awesome. You like this thing? It's good. Yeah. Well, I gotta hang on. I gotta tighten this up, guys. There we go. Okay. Yeah. See, we got the little lights on there. See? All right. Okay, we shut that off. And we can shut that off. There. 
So how are your spirits doing? Good? That's good. So do you know the lady that's in white? I know she's not a lady in white, but the lady dressed in white. Do you know her? Yeah? Have you seen her here before? All the time? Does she, does she always come at this time of night or does she come earlier? Earlier? So she doesn't really just come at two o'clock? No, does she come at 10 o'clock? Yeah, 10? Or eight? So eight o'clock or 10 o'clock? Yep, okay. Yeah, because it didn't make sense to me that she'd come at this time of night when they went for a picnic during the day. No, it don't make sense. But she comes out in the evening. Yeah, not too late? Okay. No. Not late, no? Okay. So, would you guys uh, welcome me back, you know, in the next couple of days around 10 p.m.? Nope. <laughs> yeah? Okay. I, I can come back? Oh, thank you. Okay, so I'll come back at 10 p.m. And we'll have another look, okay? Okay. All right. Hey, who was that one that tried to scare me? Actually, it didn't scare me because I wasn't expecting it. Jump scare. Who gave me the jump scare? Dave? Dave, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll meet up with Dave later. Yeah. Yeah, I really wasn't expecting that because it was just a bum rush, eh? Ah, what are you going to do? It was funny. Oh, yeah, it was funny. Good job. Good one on you, Dave. You got me this time. Yeah, bud. <laughs> yeah, bud, he says. All right, buddy. We'll see you next time, Dave. But uh, remember, paybacks are a bitch, pal. Oh, boy, yeah. I'll get you back, Dave. Yeah, you. Who, me? Yeah, Dave. You, you got it. You're coming back, man. Yeah, I'll get you back. All right, buddy. Hey, thanks for everything, guys. Good day to you. Okay, blessings. I love to all the spirits. All right, we'll talk to you later, okay? Thank you for having me. I, I appreciate you inviting me in. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Uh, in the next couple of days, I'll come back at 10 o'clock and we'll do a long investigation, okay? I might even do a live stream so that the people can watch. Would that be all right? No? No live stream? Premiere only? Oh, right, I'll tell you what, think about it, okay? And I'll come back tomorrow and ask again about the live stream, okay? And if you're okay with it, then we'll do it. But if not, we'll just, I'll just do it the other way. Okay. Blessing. Okay, guys, I just wanted to see if they would uh, agree to uh, let me come and do a live stream. But uh, they don't seem to be too enthused with that idea at the minute. But we'll see what happens. I'll come back a couple of times and maybe they'll let me. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, because I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, 
in, invade on their space. So, um, but anyway, I think I did all right. And I think we found out the information I came looking for. Plus, I got to test out uh, the equipment. And the one thing is the black light doesn't work worth a shit. Uh, it needs a little bit uh, more juice. So other than that, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, the reason is because the light from the two cameras blind me. So I can't really see any effect of the other light. So I'm going to have to get a stronger light to overpower that. So, um, but I don't want it so powerful that everything is crystal clear either. So, but, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll work on that. All right, guys, blessings to you. Uh, lots of love and light, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.